sunshiny day. Woo! Hello, Mishlicks. <laughs> Guten Morgen. I got my pumpkin spice coffee. We're ready to roll. Where are we going now? Well, my I have a customer slash friend. Oh my gosh, look at all this disastrous mess. These poor people. Oh. Um my my customer slash who is becoming my friend invited me to her church this morning um, not for a mass I'll have to go tonight um, they're having a, a breakfast and a nice talk on Our Lady of Ireland so Our Lady the Blessed Mother has many names and I don't know the title of this name but the priest had gone there and wants to give a nice talk about it and I thought you know what what nice way, what better way is there to spend the morning of the Lord's Day learning about Our Lady and all of heaven and how wonderful and... Uh, anyway, I'll try to give little, little snippets for you. Guests here with us today. If you are not a member of St. Lucie's Fidelity, could you raise your hand so we can thank you for coming? Hey. Raise your hand, I'm too short. I can't see, I can't see. <laughs> well, well, we'll say a prayer and then we'll do a blessing. We'll sing the blessing. I don't, I don't, I, I, we have to sing. So let us do the prayer that's most important for all of us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus, come to us, lead us to your light, for we need you, Jesus. start obviously with faith. Now another word for faith for me is trust. These are the virtues that you can look into your own life and ask yourself trust. When you think of Mary the mother of God and you think that she was a very, you know they say she was very young when angel Gabriel appeared to her and asked her as a very young girl, if she would be the mother of God, the mother of God's son. I have to say, that had to be amazing. I mean, to think as a young girl, and she's having this angel come to her and saying, will you carry the Lord's son in your womb? Will you carry Jesus? I mean, that had to be, when you stop and think of that, and the trust that she would have to have, that this is a real vision, that this is real. I mean, we're talking about the spiritual coming into the material, you know, the two coming together, the Son of Man becoming, and the Son of God coming together. You know, we had that recently, where who do people say that I am? 
and it was the son of man. But then Peter said, oh no, you're the son of God. The two came together, the spiritual and the material coming to the physical, coming together. So I keep thinking trust. What Mary had to have as trust. And I think that's the first thing to reflect on for all your lives. How do you trust? When does your, when has your trust wavered? And sometimes you think, and I'm looking around, and you think of your age, you think of the different ages that you went through. And a lot of you have been through a lot of ages. <laughs> <laughs> the Iron Age, the Ice Age. <laughs> Back that <laughs> but, no. but when you think of the ages that you've been through and the difficulties, oh imagine when you first got married and you had your child and wondering what's going to happen, how am I going to survive, mm. how are we going to survive, how, you know, buying a house for the first time and trying to meet payments and everything you worried about. You, we worry about a lot of things. All of us worry. But think about she was only a young girl. And you were probably, well, for your age, you would have been young. Because I know in, at, 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 there were times when uh, people were coming to get married, they were in their late teens and early 20s, right? Not anymore. They're in their late 20s and their early 30s, I know. And you said, now they're waiting till they get through. Well, first of all, nowadays, they can't they haven't been out on their own. They, they, they have to go to college. You can't just get an undergrad, you gotta get a graduate degree. Then you have to go out and you have to start earning money to pay back all the loans. So you're not even ready, you haven't even been out on your own to work and be independent, you know? So this is what the, girl, the women do now. But think back in your days. God, if you weren't, I know up in Maine, because with Maine's not a good example probably, or whatever. But I know up in Maine, I mean, if you weren't married by the time you were uh, out of high school, the second or th first or second year out of high school, if you weren't married, you were going to be an old maid. Mm -hmm. My sister got married so young, I think she was 19. Mm -hmm. But if you weren't married, you're going to be an old maid. Hello? <laughs> At 19, an old maid, what, 19, 20, an old maid, for God's sake. <laughs> you're thinking that kind of funny. <laughs> You old maid, but anyway, <laughs> you play that card game, old maid, old maid. But anyway, but it's true. And you went through, think of all you went through at a young age and the trust you would have to have. You had to have trust that things are going to work out okay. You know, we always say for those who love God, everything turns out okay. But, you know, there's certain times where you're saying, I'm really doubting. I really question, yes. God, is this all right? Is this going to happen? Yep. Is that, am I going to get through this? Yes. Think of that. Think of the things that you thought you wouldn't get through, maybe. Mm -hmm. And think of the times where you were so down, and you'd say, who do I have for support? Who's supporting me now? Because a lot of times you get married, you're off on your own, right? Your family's probably glad your mom and dad are glad you left the house. Unless it's all to be. We don't have to worry about you, hopefully. But it's true. So I think the first thing that you look at is trust. Look at the trust. Think of the trust that you would have had to have. And I was gonna, we're, we're gonna give you just five minutes where you're at right now to talk about trust. Just each one go around and say, well, what does trust mean to me? What does trust mean to me? How did I grow? How, how have I grown? <clears throat> Man, are there times where I still do not trust? That's five minutes, so go now. Oh, of all ages, gathered round the gate of oh, oh, oh. and humble man and women, little children that you Troubles 
This represents our faith, and the penny represents our trust. Right? Is that right, Kathy? Yes. Okay. Oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you. This is representing your Oh, hope. thank you so much. Oh, I love it. Don't let it shine. Oh, it smells really good. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. It smells so nice, right? Oh, it's so cute. I love it. <laughs> so we have a penny for God, I trust in you. And the candle for hope. I wonder what's happening with charity. Maybe we'll have to do a good deed for somebody. This must be the charity part. And this is a symbol of thy love, or your love, Mary's love, our love. Our love, yes, thank you. We're getting used to you giving us things. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, 
So I guess they're gathering a photo for everybody. I have no idea. I only know one person, and that's her right here. Everybody else, I have no idea. So you just pretend you are confident in this life, and you go with the flow, and all of these people love God, so they're my people. I didn't see you come in. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. So thank you. I'm sweating to death over here. It could be a lot worse. But I just um, thank you for being with us, and I hope you, maybe you already heard all these things, maybe you haven't. Um, either way, we can always be reminded. And so thank you for being here today. It's all nice. Look at what this lady came over, and these were all the, um, the door, I guess the raffle, I should say. She came over and gave me these beautiful flowers anyway. I didn't even win, but I guess I won. How about that? No, you know what it is? I, I shared very much so. You know, when anybody, I'm at the point in my life and I have been for a while now, when I share, you know, like how to trust God, how he operates, how he gets you from, you know, one place to another. And um, so I shared some snippets of whatever he was talking about when he asked people to around the room. I get nervous, right? But we have to pretend that we are comfortable and we just go with it and nobody knows except for your shaking voice and almost tears in your eyes. However, um, you know, I highly uh, suggest to go towards these events. You know, maybe you have a sodality group at your local parish. Um, that is where women strengthen their faith, right? Solid, you hear the word solid, sodality. Uh, that's where that comes from and um, you know you might do you know you'll have prayers perhaps and maybe do nice things for the community and you know raise money for the church however so you know if you've never been to a sodality you can call local um, you don't have to be a Catholic say I mean yeah you hope to be that eventually but if you're just starting out and you just are curious you can go you know it's very lovely so I highly highly suggest it Okay. All right. So I'm so happy. I was looking at those flowers too over there and I was like, oh, those are so pretty. And then God gave them to me. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> 